cardboard box from Walmart. They were unpacking a bunch of stuff. We got a whole shopping cart full of cardboard that's about this size, you know. Perfect, perfect size for citrus. Can I check out the Pokemon card real quick? It's right there. So we're gonna cover this up. I've got a couple tent stakes. I've taped the edges, taped the top. Let's go. Now I put extra tape right here on the edge of the, the cardboard. So that way, if we get a good wind or something, it's not gonna rip the cardboard. So that way the stakes are actually staked into the tape. There we go. That didn't work out too well. So this is really all you got to do to protect your trees from the frost that's coming. Nothing permanent. I mean, this is pretty solid. I only need it for a couple nights. There's not going to be any rain. Um, it's going to be sunny and chilly. So this should be good enough. I got it taped on the top. Just enough so that way the frost doesn't fall on it. A little extra protection. I mean, they can handle 40s. It's been 40s and stuff like that. And they're still growing, putting on new growth. So. Just this little extra something right here is all that you need. You don't have to get elaborate with it. You don't have to get fancy. Just a cardboard box to cover up your trees uh, from the frost. Do it. These are a bunch of uh, Thomasville Citrange Quats, and then I've got a row of Karaji Mandarins. There's a small row, and then the rest is all Thomasville. So we got uh, the few that I've planted back here already. You can see there's a couple boxes. The beginning of the hidden citrus grove. And I got everybody all tucked in nice and warm and cozy for the night tonight. Three days now. Three days I've come here, covered them up at night, and then come in the morning and uncovered them. This is the third day. Everything's good for the next couple days, so time to get them all uncovered. Stakes and no chance of rain in the forecast. That's the only way to make it work.